Hello. So I have this gigantic, nasty looking equation here. I'm not even going to read through it because there's just too much. But it's all of this is equal to 15 and your job is to solve this equation. And this sounds like a nearly impossible task. There's an x there and you have to figure out what mystery number would make it so that when you do all the adding and subtracting, multiplying all this stuff over here, this whole side is equal to 15. And the the challenge I'm going to give you here is can you actually do it in your head? Can you do it without writing anything down? And the answer is actually yeah, and it's not really that hard to do, surprisingly. So this is using solving equations using the cover-up method. This is video my third video on this one. Uh, in my previous two videos I showed you how to do it with easier, simpler equations, but the process is still the same here. And this works anytime you have an equation that has just one variable, one missing number in it. And what we do is we break this down into smaller chunks. So you just keep covering up part of the equation that has the variable in it, and it turns it into a really simple, maybe adding or subtracting, multiplying or dividing problem, uh, and then you can keep solving it. Uh, from there. And it actually is not quite that tricky. So let's try this one. Um, so this, here's the x term. Let's turn this into a much easier equation. I'm going to cover up this entire piece over here. I'm going so to solve this without writing a thing down. So if I just cover up that entire chunk, it's something plus 3 equals 15. Now that's manageable. That I can do. So this chunk that I'm covering up must be equal to 12 because 12 plus 3 equals 15. So everything under here must be equal to 12. So let's keep going. All of this is equal to 12. So let's keep going. Let's cover up this chunk again. And I know that 12 times this, sorry, 4 times this chunk equals 12. Because remember, 12 plus 3 equals 15. So this whole chunk is 12. So 4 times what is 12? 4 times 3 is 12. So this chunk I'm covering up now must be equal to 3. So when I uncover it, I know everything under here must be equal to 3. Let's keep going. So all of this is equal to 3. So this is a division problem. If I cover up this chunk on the top, what divided by 5 is equal to 3? What divided by 5 is 3? Well, 15 divided by 5 is 3. So this chunk on the top must be equal to 15. So negative 2 times x minus 3 is equal to 15. Let's keep going. Negative 2 times x minus 3 is equal to 15. Well, let's cover this up. What minus 3 is equal to 15? What minus 3 is equal to 15? Well, 18 minus 3 is equal to 15. So the chunk I'm covering up right here must be equal to 18. And now I'm to the last step. Negative 2 times x must be equal to 18. Negative 2 times what is equal to 18? Negative 2 times negative 9 is equal to 18. So in this case, x must be a negative 9. I solved the whole equation without writing a thing down. I just did it all in my head, and it wasn't really that complicated. So I love the cover-up method uh, for equations that have a single variable in it, a single missing number. It really is a way that helps make sense of what you're doing rather than trying to memorize rules. It takes a big, nasty equation and breaks it down into smaller, manageable chunks that I think are pretty easy to handle. So I hope that helps. I hope you find lots of, lots of success using the cover-up method for solving equations. Good luck.